All right, let's see if this bad boy still works after, what, 34 years or something? <laughs> they're generally pretty reliable. Most of these old PCs still work unless they're, you know, uh, something physically has been damaged in them. Um, so I've got a little uh, composite to HDMI uh, adapter. So let's, yeah, 110 volt transformer. Let's flick the red switch. Hey, fan noise. There's no magic smoke escaping. Don't see anything yet. Way floppy seeking. That's good because uh, the floppy wouldn't do uh, seek like that unless the processor was doing its business. But uh, zippity doo dah on the screen. Um, and I think we heard a beep there, didn't we? Hmm. Hmm. Let's plug in the cartridge. Hmm. Oh, did something, made it do something. The process is definitely working. Some issue with the screen. I'll get back to you. Unfortunately, I think we do have a dud just measuring the composite video output here, and I'm getting zippity doo dah. That little bit of information down there is just some uh, uh, ground uh, digital stuff. Don't worry about that. But yeah, there's no video signal on the output. Aww. Wah, 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 wah. So what we're going to have to do is actually uh, strip this thing right back because um, otherwise it's just too hard to get in there and uh, probe everything. Um, and we'll have a, just a quick look. I mean, I've stripped it out. I've just got the uh, power supply board. I've disconnected the floppy, the floppy controller, the modem card and the spare uh, RAM expansion card and just got the main uh, board like this. I don't think it's got any... Uh, leads on it does it anyway let's uh let's switch it on this is one of the good things about this is we should be able to just you know troubleshoot this on the bench and you know when you're looking for oh hello um yeah the beep was it beeped um two beeps is that like error beeps or something let me get in here and uh now we'll just double check the video it was hello 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 that is composite video if I ever saw it. Look at that. That's a Bobby Dazzler. We have video. So what was what was causing the problem? Um I will just maybe just plug in the cards one by one again and see what happens. All right, let's try that again. I uh, hooked up the keyboard and uh, the monitor with my uh, HDMI converter. Let's give it a go. We definitely saw a video signal there, whereas we weren't seeing that last time so oh come on oh no one beep there's only one beep this time but still no video oh, what's going on do we still have ah no well the video see it's killed the video signal is dead look at this so if i disconnect that Ah, oh, come on. No, video signal dead. Let's power it on again. Ah, is it the keyboard? The keyboard. Let's power it off again. Yep, yep, keyboard. Damn. All right, so let's finally keyboard disconnected, boot it up, and hopefully we'll see a signal. Come on. Oh, jeez. And in case you're wondering, no, the batteries in the keyboard actually don't make a difference. Um, and this is the worst designed battery compartment I've ever seen. It's ridiculous. You have to put one side in first and the, the rails in there. Ah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, check it out. <laughs> Doll, it was the uh, <laughs> HDMI connect cable wasn't plugged in hard enough. It was one of those tight fits and I thought it was all the way in. Nah, <clears throat> jam it a bit more and ta-da, IBM <laughs> with its color. Look at it, fantastic. What is it, you know, 16 color palette on this thing. Um, 64K error B. Yeah, I can't type anything because there's no bloody keyboard. But watch this, we're going to try the uh, the original IBM cartridge basic. Let's just plug it in. It should be like hot swap and it should just reboot and boot from the cartridge. There we go. 
Four kilobytes? 64 kilobyte error? No, no, same crap. Oh, bugger. Anyway, but you can see that it does actually detect uh, the cartridges and it actually reboots. So that's actually quite neat. That's better than a lot of the computers of the day. You had to dick around, like repower and all that sort of stuff. Now, this one you can just hot swap. That's quite nice. Okay, let's fully populate this puppy. You've got the floppy controller, the extra 64K RAM card. Let's power it on. And 4K, 64, should jump up to 128. Error B. Whoa, well, hey, you can see the uh, drive head seek there. There you go. Beautiful. Um, yeah, now what? It, it, I guess it really doesn't like the keyboard, does it? What I'm going to do is try plugging in that keyboard live. Is that the correct one? Whoa! Oh, psychedelic, man! Whoa! That just, like, killed it. <laughs> oh, back to black... There we go, we're back! Wow! Plugging in the keyboard kills the video. Is that, like, the architecture thing in here playing silly buggers? Um, this is just ridiculous. Alright, I've got my newfangled wireless keyboard. Infrared wireless, let's power it up and uh, plugged in the uh, infrared receiver module here. Let's see if we can get it to B. I don't know. Escape. Nut. Nut. One more time with our 500k RAM expansion. Let's see if it does it. Yeah, it doesn't need that external power rubbish, by the looks of it. Let's see if she goes all the way with LBJ. Yes! Oh, look at this bad boy. Wow, it's going to go to 640k. Nobody, and I mean nobody, will ever need more than 640k.